Veterans are being left in the dark when it comes to suicide prevention. An executive order, though, by President Trump could help the men and women who served our country. Veterans here at home want to put their boots to the ground and help out. Eyewitness News reporter Cody Butler joins us live tonight from Scranton with more on that one. Cody. Nick, good evening. The statistic of veteran suicide is growing. And now a local veteran wants to drive that number down. More than two weeks ago, President Donald Trump signed an executive order to help end the tragedy of veteran suicide. Within the order, the Veterans Wellness, Empowerment and Suicide Prevention Task Force has been created. And when I read through the executive order, I was, I was really happy about what I was seeing um, because it's looking at suicide in kind of a more ho holistic way. Sergeant First Class Eric Darling, a veteran himself, helps his fellow brothers and sisters with counseling through his nonprofit, Valhalla Veterans Services. In this area, we have experienced a lot of suicide, um, and that affects every suicide affects 100 people. The task force has not been formed yet, but will be made up of some of the top federal agencies like Secretaries of Defense, Health and Human Services, Homeland Security, and more. Eric hopes local politicians, specifically the Lackawanna County Commissioners, can help Eric present information to the task force or even be on it. Our hope is, is that they will be open-minded enough to, to look outside of academia. The veteran suicide is something that's been uh, an incredible thing to watch, hard to believe. Inside Veterans Promise in Dixon City is this wall of heroes, local men and women who have lost their lives to suicide. The task force will come up with ways to prevent another picture from being added. Form a task force that looks at the problems uh, and tries to understand the problem before trying to solve the problem. President Trump says in one year the task force has to show results. They're looking for an understanding of what really is happening to the men and women after service and getting the help they need by providing grants to local nonprofits that do just that. In Scranton, Cody Butler, Eyewitness News. Cody, thanks. And this Friday evening at 6.30, Veterans Promise is holding a veteran suicide prevention night and we'll do so every 22nd of each month. We've posted information on our website, pahomepage.com.